Throne and Liberty, it's a new game, and uh, it's coming out. I guess, I, I think Canon came out with a video about this, right? Let me just go ahead and see. Throne and Liberty is being published by Amazon Game Studios, according there it to, is. well, pretty much everyone. Amazon Game Studios is quickly establishing itself as one of the biggest publishers in the West for MMORPGs. I mean, they've got Lost Ark, they recently yep. got Blue Protocol, and now they have Throne and Liberty. Now, I pr It is pretty crazy that they're publishing three big MMOs that is like fucking massive whenever you really think about it personally think this is the best case scenario for Throne and Liberty because of one key thing and that is the monetization Throne and Liberty is a PvP focused game guys I mean you can literally taunt people after you kill them they have that system in the game right anytime you have a PvP focused game monetization is super super important I just I, I mean I don't think this is a very good argument whenever you contextualize it around Lost Ark I mean Lost Ark is very very pay to win it is true that it's more pay to win in korea that is true but i mean to what degree is it going to be pay to win i don't know we'll have to see being someone that has personally worked with amazon game studios on lost ark i will yeah. say that amazon game studios being the publisher for this game is the absolute best case scenario when it comes to a i don't want to say non pay to win model but at least something that is a little bit more forgiving when it comes to the monetization now i don't really think that's really the main concern i think it's like day-to-day -day, like problems that the game has but it's very odd because I, I find it to be it's telling and also not telling because you compare New World, which I think New World has been managed relatively well ever since release. I think they've responded to a lot of feedback the community's had. And in general, I'm very happy with the state of New World, uh, especially contextualized around where it's going. So I, I think that's that's a huge positive. Uh, however, with Lost Ark, I think there have been a number of massive L's. Uh, things like the uh, like the, the honing rates at the beginning of the game, uh, and then Argos. Uh, like people felt like they had to like whale to get to like 1370, and then uh, like people keep hitting like these weird honing walls. There's like the game's massively massively like pay to win in terms of PVE. Obviously, like pay to win doesn't mean you just beat the game instantly, but it makes it a lot easier. Of course, you know there's like more room for error. So, but like that's also not owned by Amazon. So it's very hard for me to know how Amazon will handle Throne and Liberty because New World is not owned by them and Smilegate controls it. But New World, or sorry, Lost Ark is owned by Smilegate and, and New World isn't. So it's like, I, I don't really know what's going to happen. But I mean, I, I'll tell you this. I can't really think of a number of other like publishers that I would be happier than Amazon with. Like in general, like you can complain about how Lost Ark has been handled. But I do think that the fundamental problems with Lost Ark are actually not pay to win. I actually don't think pay to win is even in the top five problems with Lost Ark. I know what most of you guys are going to say. You, gotta, you guys are going to be like, well, Lost Ark is super pay to win. No, here's the thing. You can absolutely yeah. purchase power in Lost Ark. Nobody's debating that. And if that is your definition of pay to win, it's pay to win. The reason why from day one, I, along with uh -huh. all the other Lost Ark creators, were saying that it's not a big deal is because Lost Ark is a PV focused game people That's swiping true. in lost ark it doesn't affect your experience negatively in any way so that's why i will actually disagree with this i think that it does because if everybody else is spending money then they're going to be more likely to get invited to groups than you are because they're going to have better gear that's how it works like and, and this is something that like you have to understand with like an mmo is that inside of an MMO, there is an ecosystem. And whenever you change one element in that ecosystem, you change the entire game. And you have effects that like kind of have a ripple effect beyond just what they're what's happening individually. 
So like you have somebody that's able to pay to win. Yeah, that's one thing. But that also means that people that are farming mats, their mats are going to be devalued because there's more gold sellers. And then you also have people that are trying to find groups and their attempts to try to find groups are going to be minimized because they don't have as many people to play with because everybody else wants to invite whales or at least soft whales where it's like somebody spends like $100 a month or $50 a month or something like that, which is like comparatively not a lot to like actual big whales, but it will get you a sizable difference in player power. And, and, and also like you end up not getting invited to groups because of this. How many of you all have had that happen? That's only affected the highest level? No, actually it's worse at the lower levels because at the lower levels, people don't have... So like at, at very high levels, somebody will look at like they'll look at gear score, they'll look at uh, engravings, they'll look at, uh, you know, like your title uh, or like, you know, if you have the Brelshaza horns, for example, if you're trying to do like a Brelshaza clear uh, or, or they're going to try to look at uh, your cards and your gems, right? Like those are the big like five, five things that matter. But the difference is that whenever you're making a group for, let's say, the Clown Raid or Brelshaza Normal or something like that, or not, well, I, mean, I guess we are in Brelshaza Normal, but, uh, you know, an easier raid in general, well, you're not going to be looking for as many of those things. Like, the first thing that people are going to see is item level. They're going to see somebody high item level, good player. That's what happens in WoW. That's what happens in Lost Ark. That's just the way it goes. So, yeah, I mean... I, I, this, this is like, this is turning into like a lost dark thing. But like, my point is that pay to win inside of a video game does have a ripple effect that affects people that are outside of that game or sorry, outside of that player because of how that player interacts with the environment. Why people that are still playing Lost Ark to this day, they really don't care about the pay to win systems that are in Lost Ark. Throne in Liberty being a PvP focused game, having a pay to win system or allowing players to purchase power is very dangerous. The only game that allows you to purchase power that has actually done pretty decent this video, to this right? day and is still alive with a decent player base is Black Desert yeah. Online. That's the only game. And the only reason why Black Desert Online is still alive is because, well, their combat system is actually god tier. Well, they have a great combat system, though the gameplay is very good. Like, Lost Ark is a game that is very good in a lot of ways, except for that. Yes, is well aware when it comes to unfair, super over the top pay to win systems. There have been multiple systems already removed or altered in the Western version of Lost Ark. This is true. That is He's currently right about this. in the Eastern version of Lost Ark, if you're wondering. Uh, two examples are Yaz's Jar, which are like, it's like a loot box thing that you can buy to get legendary armor that gives you increases in strength. And then there's also uh, Yaz's Jar and then uh, Pets. Uh, pets are RNG. The stats that pets have in Korea is RNG. Well, to begin with, there is literally a pay to win currency in Lost Ark in Korea. I didn't even know like, that. Like you literally get this currency by swiping. That's not in the game in the West. You have the legendary skins where people yeah. were complaining in the West. That was also removed from our version because yeah. it was deemed too pay to win. And even that, to be perfectly honest, I didn't think it was like that bad. This game being developed by NCSoft, I am... 99.99 .99. fuck it i'm a hundred percent sure that you will be able to pay to win in the korean version of this game now will ags be able to soften or even remove that monetization that korea is bound to have my guess is probably not to the full extent but definitely softened now even a well they're gonna have to because the reason why games are pay to win like you have to look at this as kind of a forehead kind of way why are games pay to win because pay to win mechanics make money that's why people you pay a lot of money for pay to win mechanics so they're not going to probably get rid of all of the pay to win because then they're going to make a lot less money often versions that's just what, of that's the what's going to happen in korea I love how I'm just assuming that the pay to win system in Korea is just going to be ridiculous. Yeah, but well, even a, a softened version of it too. is still potentially a game breaker for our region. It'll definitely be interesting to see what Amazon Game Studios does with the Western version of this game.
I don't think that it will be a game breaker as long as the game is good. Uh, I, I actually don't think that Western audiences will not play a good game because it's pay to win. And I think Black Desert is an example of that. Obviously, it's not massively popular here in the West, but again, it's not a perfect game, and there's a number of other reasons for that, too. Uh, you look at something like Genshin Impact, look at World of Warcraft, uh, look at Lost Ark. Uh, there are a lot of games nowadays that are pay to win, and people don't really care about it as much. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not 2010 anymore. So I, I don't think that that is going to be the defining feature, whether the game is popular or not. Like, as I said, Lost Ark is not losing players because it's pay to win. It's losing players because people log in and they have to do the same activities a million times and it's boring. That's the problem with the game. It has nothing to do with it being pay to win. Now, outside of the monetization, the only That's other like concern number, that I do have is with in the, the problem combat list. still. It is supposed to be like a... It is supposed to be action combat. I know for a fact it was originally tab target, and then they kind of mixed it, but yeah. we're just going to have to wait for the beta test to see the updated version of the game. But I'm actually okay with uh, with tab target for like soft locking auto attacks for like an archer or a mage, but I think that most spells and actual like abilities that you hit on like, you know, you hit three and then fireball happens, I think you should have to aim that fireball. Combat but does I'm okay with still auto attacks concern me a little bit, but outside targeted. of that, I am super excited to play Throne and Liberty. Me having a big background in Black Desert Online really excites me for a game like Throne and Liberty. Hopefully, AGS doesn't drop the ball on this one yeah. and is able to take a PvP-focused game. Well, another big factor is that AGS has had way more experience now. Like, New World was their first big release, really. And then after that, Lost Ark. So they've had more experience, and it's going to be less likely that they will completely fuck up this release because they've already had a release that they've learned from. Make it a top tier one. That's pretty much all I have for you today. If you guys want to talk about more Throne and Liberty, be sure to join the Discord, drop by the Twitch, and I'll see you in the next video. There it is. That's a short little good video. I hope so too. I mean, again, uh, you know, whenever Amazon's ready, I'm ready to, uh, you know, see any of these games, guys. So uh, just come on, like any day now. All right, come on, please. So yeah, I, I really, really would hope so, but uh, we'll we'll have to wait and see whenever it comes out. I mean, like, Throne and Liberty is coming out extremely soon, and so is Blue Protocol. I think people might not realize how soon these games are coming out. Like I'm talking about, it's a matter of months. Both of these games will be out and play. Like you will be, you will either, well, you you will have made the decision whether you're going to play or not play this game. And you, if you want to, will have played this game, both of these games by the end of the year. Didn't Blue, Blue Protocol get delayed? It did not. Uh, I think they delayed like a Japanese beta test, but I don't even know if they did that. Now I remember seeing a uh, like a, a a big like list, and they haven't really given a time frame for the uh, the, the global release for that yet. I don't know. I think I have co vouching that it's not pay to win again. Well, I, I, I think that again, a lot of people probably, and this is the issue is like a lot of people that play these games don't understand as much about like the, uh, they don't understand as much about the fuck. I, I get distracted. Uh, they don't, they don't understand the games as much as I do. Right. Like that's, all it comes down to. I'm not saying Ko is one of those people, but I'm saying a lot of the people that play these MMOs, they play them for like eight hours for a sponsor and then they stop playing them. Like they're not going to understand them on the same level that I do whenever I put 200 hours into the game. It's like me making a video talking about what's wrong with Valorant. <laughs> well, I don't really think that I, I, I'm, I'm in a place to do that. Uh, based off of the nature of what that, that game really is. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just, I think it depends. But, yeah, I mean, a lot of people aren't going to understand it. And Lost Ark didn't really seem as pay to win at the, be at the beginning, too. And I think also, again, Lost Ark was massively pay to win whenever it came out. It's just people didn't know it. And even whenever people found out that it was pay to win, 
they kept playing the game because it was good. I think that what caused a lot of people to leave Lost Ark is they did a lot of the like side content, like masterpieces, uh, you know, Island Souls, Omnium Stars, etc. And and then they kind of hit that plateau, or, or they finished it, and then they stopped playing the game. Or they did a bunch of different alts, and they're running Chaos Dungeons on six characters, and doing Vaulten or Vicus, especially on six characters. Yeah, guess what? They quit the game after that. Big fucking surprise. Whenever you design a game like that, you're going to burn players out. Uh, it, I mean, I don't know how they do things over in Korea, but over in the U.S., a lot of people don't like doing that. So, yeah, that's about it.